Diabetes ketoacidosis is a serious complication of diabetes that occurs when the body produces high levels of blood acids called ketones. Diabetes ketoacidosis happens most often in those with type 1 diabetes, but can also occur in those with other types of diabetes under certain circumstances. Triggers may include infections, not taking insulin correctly, stroke and certain medications such as steroids. Signs and symptoms may include vomiting, abdominal pain, deep gasping breathing, increased urination, weakness, confusion and occasionally loss of consciousness. A person's breath may develop a specific fruity smell. Onset of symptoms is usually rapid. Diabetic ketosidosis arises because of a lack of insulin in the body. The lack of insulin and corresponding elevation of glucagon leads to increased release of glucose by the liver which is a process that is normally suppressed by insulin. High glucose levels spill over into the urine, taking water and solutes such as sodium and potassium along with it in a process known as osmotic diuresis. This leads to polyuria, dehydration, and polydipsia. The absence of insulin also leads to the release of free fatty acids from adipose tissue, which the liver converts into ketone bodies acetosetate and superscript 2 hydroxybutyrate through a process called beta oxidation. Superscript 2 hydroxybutyrate can serve as an energy source in the absence of insulin mediated glucose delivery and is a protective mechanism in case of starvation. The ketone bodies, however, have a low pKa and therefore turn the blood acidic, also known as metabolic acidosis. The body initially buffers the change with the bicarbonate buffering system, but this system is quickly overwhelmed and other mechanisms must work to compensate for the acidosis. One such mechanism is hyperventilation, to lower the blood carbon dioxide levels. This hyperventilation, in its extreme form, may be observed as cosmal respiration. Diagnosis of diabetes ketosidosis. Diabetic ketosidosis is distinguished from other diabetic emergencies by the presence of large amounts of ketones in blood and urine, and marked metabolic acidosis. Diabetic ketosidosis may be diagnosed when the combination of hyperglycemia, ketones in the blood, or on urinalysis and acidosis are demonstrated. In about 10% of cases the blood sugar is not significantly elevated, and is called as euglycemic diabetic ketosidosis. Thank you for watching, see you in next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos.